Hey, what's up? It's Philip, and let me show you today how to add decals uh, to your scene. As you can see, the first and the second one are the Megascans assets, Megascans uh, decals, and the third one is our custom uh, texture, our custom image. And uh, I will show you how to uh, create that and how to uh, manipulate some material nodes to create this. Very easy, very straightforward, uh, nothing complicated in, in this video. So without further ado, let's uh, start. Let's go. The easiest way to add your decals is to go to uh, Megascans. Uh, to access your Megascans, uh, go up, go here, uh, Quixel Bridge. And over here, find all these decals. And you have these uh, categorized decals over here. Let's go with the graffiti. And over here, I will choose this one, this one, and this one, for example. And you can just hit download over here in the bottom right corner. And when it's downloaded, just hit add, and it will add it to your project. You can see it over here under the mega scans decals. Just one uh, quick tip, uh, select your decals, go over here under this filter, go to material, material instances. This way you will see all of your decals in one place. You can turn it off and turn it on if you want uh, this uh, filter to be applied. And the next thing is to just drag and drop this decal on the floor. But uh, what, for example, if you want to add it to the wall, you need to move it to the wall like this and change rotation 90 degrees and move it up and you can change the rotation like this. And if you can see, if you select your graffiti, your decal in the outliner, you can see the bounding box of our decal. You can increase the size of decal or reduce the size, but it will affect the other assets in your game. So good thing is to reduce the size of the decals like this. You can see, and um, for example, if it's too big, this bounding box, and you want to add another asset over here, it will overlap with this new asset, as you can see. To avoid this, just select your graffiti, reduce this bounding box also. You can do this the other way. You select this pillar and under the details, type in decal and uh, uncheck this receives decals. And no matter where you position your uh, object, it will not receive decals. Let's add another decal, drop it on the floor and we can position it upwards 90 degrees and on the side 19 degrees and move it to the wall and move it here and uh, we have a problem here what if we want this decal to be below the other one uh, you will achieve this by selecting your uh, desired decal we want this back decal to be up front so select it and you can see over here sort order type in one you will bring it up uh, you can use this sort order as a type of layers one two three four five so you can sort it out your decals how you want Another good thing uh, about the decals is uh, when you are using, for example, uh, bullet uh, holes, uh, you can use this fade duration. For example, let's say it's three seconds. Select it and let's hit play from here. And you can see that after three seconds, your decal will disappear. And it will not just hide, it will completely disappear from the game. You can see over here, destroy owner after fade. So after fade, it will destroy it and uh, it will save your memory and increase your performance. Uh, but uh, what if you want to add some custom decals to your level? To do that, I have this PNG image. I will now just go over here in our content folder and we will drag and drop this PNG image and we will make a decal from this texture. So right click over here, hit material, open it up. I will bring this here and uh, select over here your uh, result node and make sure that under material domain you select this deferred decal and we have a problem it says material using the use on blend mode transcend them okay we need to change the blend mode to be translucent and we solve this error and now let's add our uh, texture over here just drag and drop it and we can drag this to the base color and this alpha this is opacity we'll drag to the opacity and save it. After that, we go to the drop down menu, type in decal, decal actor, we'll drop it here. And uh, if you select your decal actor, you can see this decal material. So now just drag and drop this material that we just created. And we have our decal. We need to play a bit. You can see it in the background. So we can just need to play this a bit so you can see it better. 
Uh, you can see it here, but if I drop another decal actor over here, it will automatically use our uh, PNG image as a decal. Let's change, for example, uh, this one. We will position it here like this, make it a little bit smaller, position it up and uh, let's uh, change the color and make it uh, glow. And to do that, uh, we will uh, add one vector, vector parameter. This will be our color. Over here, we will add one constant node. Press one and left mouse click. And we will multiply this and uh, put it inside our emissive color. So we will multiply it. We will combine that. A to A, B to B. And this goes to emissive color. And now we change color over here to be, for example, blue. And we will change over here, under this parameter, for example, to be 10. And let's say, and you can immediately see that we changed the color of our decal. And we can also unplug this one here. So it will just use this uh, emissive color. Okay, let's go to bridge. I will use this wall, add a brick wall and just drop it here. And now our decal is looking uh, much more awesome. And if you want to change colors, of course, go over here and change the color, for example, to be red. Apply it or change the color over here to be, and it will change immediately to the green color. You can uh, use text for this, make some quick uh, neon signs, for example. And this is it. Uh, if you find this helpful, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget the 75 tips and tricks that will uh, speed you up in Unreal Engine 5. Until the next video, uh, have a nice day and bye-bye.